Select your hero. Cowabunga, and welcome to this tutorial of TMNT Shredder's Revenge, featuring the turtle with attitude, Raphael. Today, we'll be going over all of his moves and combos that have made him undeniably the number one character in this game. Let's get going. Now, you can only really use the character profiles on the character select screen as uh, as just a guide. But uh, so obviously, Raphael's the character. He lacks range, but he makes it up with speed and power. But we're going to be showing off a couple of ways to augment uh, his issue with his range. But in any case, let's start from the very beginning. If you take a look at the bottom left hand corner, you're going to see the name of the move as well as the damage values for that move. So we're going to be starting off with his combo attack. He's going to hit once with his side, second time with his side punch for a third attack. And then he's going to spin the enemies up in the air with a twirling side that does a total of three damage. Let's just show that off really quickly. Notice how I was able to catch that guy in the air. So there's, let's go into a little bit more of the nitty gritty with this combo attack. So the first thing is his first attack is a three frame jab. Now only two characters have a jab that fast. That is Raphael and April, meaning after three frames of attack of clicking the button, he's going to put his attack out there, which is incredibly good. Um, and generally speaking, Raphael has some of the best frame data being some of the fastest attacks in the game. So his start off is really good. The first three attacks don't really have any properties, uh, meaning they don't knock down or up the, the enemies, which means that you can pulverize the enemies and do your full combo damage without worrying about enemies getting away from you. Meaning that this combo attack generally is incredibly good on Triceratons in episode 9 and 15. And it's also really good on Tricerat and on Rock Warriors in episodes oh 13 14 15 so just really really solid talk about his fourth strike uh we saw that it twirled up in the air and it has a really long active window meaning that it just lasts a long time and things can just run into it and if enemies are coming on screen you do three damage to them you hit them with the rising attack they're gone um that fourth attack has super armor meaning that if you get hit during that time uh, you will not get knocked down. You will lose meter if you're playing on okay and gnarly difficulties, but that's really it. Okay, that was a long rant, but his combo is really good. I just wanted to talk about all the all the reasons there. All right, so he has two different types of combo starters. You have his regular jab, and then you also have his forward attack. Um, so this forward attack, you can see that it takes a little bit longer where he's kind of using the handle of his side to, to do damage. But if you take a look at his feet, he's able to move across the, the ground. So this is one way that we're going to be augmenting that one star in range. You can start off your combo with maybe a shoulder bash, and then you start doing your, your uh, forward attacks, and uh, you'll go into the enemies and instead, uh, therefore gain ad some additional range. One thing about this attack, you can see that if you whiff it, it takes a little bit longer to recover, but risk reward it's good so combo attack with forward attack also incredibly useful all right let's go over his shoulder bash and this is one of the more unique ones in this game so you do double tap forward and then attack and then both of Raphael's size will come out this hits twice which is uh one of the reasons why he's one of the best characters he builds meter incredibly fast um and you can chain these shoulder bashes together uh, and also when you do a shoulder bash into regular, uh, regular combo, that regular combo happens to come out quicker. And also because this doesn't, you know, cause knockdown, push enemies in the air, that sort of thing. Once again, this is really good for rock warriors and triceratons and generally for enemies that have lots and lots of HP. Let's just show it off real quick. So he stabs the enemies and you can see that he keeps them in place which is really good because the enemies behind them can kind of catch up. So that's another way that it helps with the, the his lack of range. The shoulder bash, however, does not turn over the server bots or late, what I like to call them laser discs uh, in episodes uh, 12 and 15. So there are other moves that we're gonna have to use in order to turn those uh, laser discs over. 
but yeah shoulder bash really good also uh it has a little bit of a dash at the very beginning meaning that it will just come out quicker and this attack as well as a lot of his other attacks have what i like to call auto tracking meaning if you had an enemy above or below you then it's going to try to track towards that enemy all right that's enough of this of this shoulder bash it's incredibly good all right let's just talk about his sliding attack his sliding attack double tap forward with jump you can see that it actually has a good amount of range once again this is a great way to augment his lack of range it also pushes enemies into the air and you can finish them off with a rising attack now uh his regular combo doesn't have any you know ways of putting enemies in the air or on the ground so uh between his backup flying attack and his sliding attack these are the way this to quickly consider enemies as dead and what does that really mean it means that the enemies have been given enough damage and they are in the air which brings the next group of enemies out uh and also allows the scroll screen to scroll so sliding attack really good for dodging enemies good at uh jumping ninjas as well uh and it does you know wisp with a rising attack does a total of four damage so look right here see you're able to catch them up in the air so sliding attack really good and because it lasts such a long time sometimes you can put that out there and while enemies are coming um, up into the screen you can just finish them off also has a little bit of auto track as well all right let's go get into the nitty gritty with his back the flying attack so after a dodge roll you can hit attack and Raphael is going to put his feet out first and this is the only backflip flying attack that does two damage now casually this move is kind of tough to use because the enemies just go flying so it's hard to combo afterwards but there are a couple of ways to actually combo off of it my first and favorite one is backflip flying attack into a uh, rising attack the second one is backflip flying attack into charge but that only works in certain situations you can also do backflip of battalion attack into regular combo but uh it's actually quite difficult to use this backflip flying attack casually but once you know the distances and what you can do to follow up with it it is incredibly good on normal enemies and of course it's great on bosses because you just get that extra hip of damage now backflip flying attack there's a, one other great thing about it and that is it has incredible amount of auto tracking so i wasn't even aligned to this guy and it hit so you know it's, it's just really good let's just finish this guy off with a quick combo so that's really it for back of flying attack is one of the reasons why Raphael is one of the best characters just getting that extra damage after dodging and then being able to follow up with a quick combo is is great so let's talk about his heavy swing so it doesn't have a lot of so first to perform this you do any attack and then you hold the button and if you do it uncharged it will do two damage if you charge it up it will do four damage now uh generally speaking it doesn't have a lot of range but you have to kind of combo th this string together for this heavy swing to be as good as it actually is as this this move is actually pretty dosh darn good so after a backup flying attack you have a quick you get a quick charge me and also the other way to get a quick charge is doing after a combo uh after a full combo you'll also get a full charge you don't get a lot of opportunities to full ch full combo into charge except for on bosses though but heavy swing is incredibly good still all right let's talk about his rising attack so i've been using this at to, to you can use this to cancel out of supers get out of com like finish up combos and we already talked about backup flying attack into rising attack just being a great way to to kill enemies and consider them defeated um but there's really not much else to it you don't really we won't really raw super or raw rising attack very often but you know rising attack into dive kick is going to be our way of dealing with baxter in episode 12. so not much else to say there all right let's talk about his shoulder throw and his other throws so he's a bruiser so naturally we have to have a really nice uh throw to follow it up this is kind of slow compared to his other moves and it does three damage which is pretty good but he just has so many other options for speed running 
the one thing about this is since the last pat the newest patch it also provides some iframes it only does one damage to the enemies that it hits but you can combo off of this so this shoulder throw is you know not it's super casual friendly not the best for speed running but really good for some uh difficult challenges like gnarly and some other uh custom game set settings all right this is the fling toss this is our mode seven throw you just throw it at the screen you gain iframes during uh this animation so if someone's trying to throw ice at you oops try this again come on come on come on see you have some iframes and you won't get hit uh very good for dealing with single uh enemy ninjas all right but this is the filling slam and this is just a no it does two damage to the enemy that you hit and only one damage to all the other hits uh enemy enemies you hit and is just darn slow so we don't even use this for any character all right next is his dive kick or dive attack it does one damage you can combo off of it and then rising attack uh and it does consider enemies in the air after that hit we, we don't just don't use dive kick too much uh with Raphael as a combo starter because he just he has so many other options he has his shoulder bash his back up flying attack and he even has his slide so dive kick is a good move in certain situations but it's just a generally okay move next is his somersault slice so if, after performing a super jump by hitting jump and jump again you can do up to three hits and you can see it doesn't have a lot of range and it doesn't do too much damage either we do not use somersault slice too much but doing two two super jumps usually can get you out of almost any situation that you would normally take damage all right now into the nitty-gritty of uh his taunt so if you don't have meter since for whatever reason you can use the taunt to build a whole bar of meter and now suddenly you have access to all of his incredible super moves Raphael's uh taunt is the fastest in the game clocking out at a, a second 46 uh <laughs> and it's the fastest taunt in the game and having the fastest taunt in the game means that meaning that enemies can come on screen and you taunt they get in position and then you can just super them away and we do that a ton in the later levels when enemies just have so much HP to deal with all right but a taunt by itself is not that good mikey doesn't have such like such good supers but Raphael does and uh just let's just show this one off real quick this is his standing super it does a total of 12 damage which is generally really good and it also multi-attacks uh which is great because if you multi-attack enemies and if they're dead you can consider them dead and you can get your next group of enemies or you can scroll the screen in addition to this this move you can move around and uh on if you're running you also get a very fast slide let's just show it one more time almost a full like super and also look at those active frames it just lasts a really long time during that super you're invulnerable and you cannot take damage and uh just generally that super is incredibly good because if enemies are just slowly coming back on screen it lasts a long time you can hit a whole tons of groups of enemies all right that's it for this super so his dive super is universal meaning all characters have it you can use it quickly jump in the air or you can do it off of a super jump uh it hits in back of you but uh, in front of you above you below you it's just incredibly good and it's great on bosses and it's really good burst damage so you can just see that they were above and below me and they're just gone you can also cancel out of the animation uh if you hit something with a rising attack or even if you don't hit something see uh that's really it for dive super all right and next is backflip flying with super so I'm playing on the current, most current uh, patch of the game, but in the legacy versions of the game, uh, this particular move where you do dodge and then super could stun lock half of the bosses. I'm gonna link my uh, link that video of all of the boss stun locks for legacy uh, in the about section. 
And I also oh, will be putting the legacy ver uh, linking to four and sixes gnarly uh, legacy run as well, because it also is able to bounce off of multiple Triceratons uh, and uh, just generally do a ton of damage. So if you hit, uh, a, if you go through an enemy, like a Knuckler or something with a ton of damage, a ton of health, they'll do 10 total damage. Uh, otherwise, it's going to, you know, grab the enemy and just knock them to the ground. We don't want to be doing that on uh, foot soldiers. There. Okay. And we're going to get to the boss and just show what it looks like against the boss. But it's not... So it's good when it, you're able to do 10 damage of burst damage. Uh, but this other variant isn't so great. I think it might be useful for, for in some co-op settings. But let's just get on to Bebop, and we're going to show off this backup line attack. You're also able to cancel it with a rising attack. So, one, two, 12 damage, and then rising attack, you can finish him off. And then you can go into regular attacks. But generally speaking, uh, so if you knock, if you have, if you attack enemies that are flying with the backup flying super, then you can do the full 10 damage and go through and deal multiple damage. But at that point, you might as well just do a dive super. So at least in this version of the game, uh, backup flying super is basically used on turtle tenderizer and some enemies exclusively and finishing off bosses with a final hit. Um, but otherwise, it's not used too much. All right. That is all of the knowledge that I will impart to you uh, regarding Raphael for now. Be sure to check out uh, a couple of, ru of runs on SRC for Raphael, but we're going to be going into the level one walkthrough now. So we're going to put everything together, all the things that we learned, uh, and just trounce these foot with Raphael. All right. So first we're going to start off with a sliding attack. Like it has a ton of range. We're going to grab all three of those foot. And we're going to do backflip flying attack and using the auto tracking purpose uh, properties as well to deal with them. We have a little bit of a dive super right there. And we're going to build some meter using uh, some regular combos. His taunt is very fast. So we're going to grab a taunt right there and dive super again. Now we're going to augment that range using uh, his sliding attack. And now you can do another quick rising quick dog. Back of flying kick into his rising attack. That's good for scrolling the screen. Here we're going to use, you can just see how quickly he just gained meter there. Another back of flying attack into rising attack. We're going to gain some meter using that, sho that shoulder bash that, that does, you know, allows you to get seize. Gonna do an uppercut there, consider that guy dead. Another show older bash here. Yeah, you can you can actually knock these guys against the wall that will also consider them dead. A little super to deal with guys with the shields. Rising attack here, just roll the screen. And now you can use some rise some dodge rolls here. One thing I forgot to mention is that, that the dodge roll actually has iframe. So it's incredibly good. You can also dive kick into regular attack. It's a decent-ish combo. Not the best, but it works. Oopsies. You should just stay down, I think. All right, we can just dodge roll through here. Gonna hit three times, consider that enemy dead. All right, and then we're moving on to Bebop. So this is a little bit of a rusty, I'm a little rusty with Raphael, but you can see just how good he can be. So we're gonna do this. Gaining a ton of meter. Yeah, that's a interesting kill with Feebop. <laughs> but easy peasy. Could be like a 225-ish, probably. Um, but yeah, Raphael. His level one is not the best. I think Donnie's is, is better. He has a lot of uh, tools. But Raphael, when he gets into those later levels, because of how quick 
uh, his taunt is, which we really didn't get to use do too much here in level one. Uh, he's really good on some of those later enemies. All right. So if you like this video, please be sure to like, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so. We'll be coming up with a tutorial for Splinter later in the month or the first couple weeks of June. So I hope to see you then. Until then, we're going to be going for the 55 with uh, with Splinter. So I hope you check you out. check that one out when it happens. Ready? See you later.